Is this heaven? No, it's a podcast. Welcome to the Field of Geeks podcast. Everybody and welcome to episode 94 of the Field of Geeks podcast. I'm Josh. I'm Mitch. I'm Steve. Yeah. <laughs> the boys are back. Back in town. You know, 94, if we were that age, we would uh, we'd have eight-hour podcasts trying to think of what we were yeah. going to say. <laughs> um, Today's those... topic is changing my diaper. <laughs> the AARP episode. I right. stayed uh, stayed alive another day. I'm yeah. proud of myself. <laughs> another day on the right side of the dirt, as I've been told. <laughs> I sneezed and did not crap my pants today. <laughs> when <laughs> I didn't uh, pay my hammer bill, I feel feel pretty badass. I'm not going to get my payment for my oxygen machine. Yeah, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be too fun. But yeah. speaking of 94, the year 94, yes. the thing you remember that powerful from that year, like movie-wise, see, I wasn't comic-wise, whatever. I wasn't that big into stuff back then. Uh, it probably didn't hit me until 2000, um, so I don't remember much about 94. True Lies. Oh, yes. Yes. Many good moments in that movie. Yes, yes. Anything else in 94? <laughs> True Lies, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Yep. Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, yep. that was his return from Last Action Hero. Remember, he was going to be PG and not, you know, cursed or anything. Yeah. That didn't last long. It only took no. one movie. But yeah, he did He did uh, True Lies, and then I think he did um, Eraser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 1994 was uh, on, what is today's date? Uh, be the 5th of... April. Kurt Cobain died today oh, shit. in 1994. Rest in so, peace. So Jack Kirby, comic creator, died in 1994. Really? Batman vs. Spawn by Todd McFarlane was released in 1994. Look at you, man. I'm pretty oh. smart. <laughs> <laughs> For all those grunge music fans, Lane Staley passed away on this day. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's uh, First Contact Day for Star Trek fans out there. Oh, was it? Yeah, Zephyr and Cochran... Uh, However many years from now, I was going to... No, he's not really going to. I'll just stop there. But <laughs> warp drive, yeah. I just don't... I don't see it happening. But No. But we'll see. I don't know. We won't, we won't be around, no. sadly. But I think William Shatner might be. So. He could be. Yeah. He'll live forever. So, Would the dad even be alive at this point? Or when was, when was Shatner born? In the oh Riverside Iowa, he's yeah. gonna be born uh, twenty twenty two thirty three or something like that. Okay, so it is plausible that the dad is out there now. Two hundred years. Oh oh twenty. I'm sorry. No, he would not be. <laughs> I was you publicly know, if you schooled. Do a simple slingshot around the sun, maybe. <laughs> yes. 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 Time warp action. But... You have to have a Vulcan calculator, right. though, of yeah. course. Mm-hmm. And they're just gonna guess. And a Klingon bird of prey. Yes. Yes. So, uh, today's show, we got a, a lot to talk about. We got some Star Wars news, Star Trek, Deadpool, Fantastic Four, Ready Player One, and of course, wherever else comes our way. So, I um, thought I'd start off talking about big rumor going on right now. I really don't know how... M- well, it's going to be something Lucasfilm has to solve, you know, yeah. uh, which is the problem that, you know, Princess Leia was going to be in Episode Nine. Right. Of course, Carrie Fisher has passed. They're talking about, and this is just fans. I don't think it's Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm's already ruled out, you know, CGI recreation of her. That's too bad. Yeah. Um, just from a personal opinion, but I, I understand it. Mm-hmm. So I'm not mad, but it's just, um, it's too bad. But the talk now is, could she be recast? So, Oof. yeah, I know that's a tough one. But, yeah, given that... That character itself, you know, there's a lot of limitations with episode nine. Mark Hamill, of course, said himself it, it couldn't couldn't be done, probably. J.J. Um, Abrams and uh, writer Chris uh, Terrio, they went back to square one on their ideas for nine after she passed. So, uh, question for the group. Um, 
Can she be replaced? Should she be replaced? And how would you end that character? Well, I would say that the easiest choice would be to find somebody uh, that's already been around, uh, you know, like Laura Dern's character that we didn't see on screen or something like that, that would teach her um, the secret texts. And uh, that would be the easiest way of going about it. And then just say that she's off on some mission. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I, you know, most plausible uh, would be a little weird to have her die off screen before the, the movie starts. It'd be, too, it'd be too easy, but, I, you know, it's not like yeah. they have a choice, you know. No, no. And I don't think recasting her, at, you know, I don't, I don't know of any specific time that the Force has been able to be used to reconfigure someone's face. They've done the CGI recreations, but at the same time, they've recasted uh, Han Solo. Obviously, right. it's because he's 20, 30 years younger, so they really couldn't do a whole CG movie yeah. with Harrison Ford. As much as I would like to see that, <laughs> he probably would not be into that. Why not just have Mark Hamill come back? I mean, yeah, he... he... Well, they say you, you'll come back as a Force ghost. Yeah, why not, why not just stay that way and teach her? Well, yeah, but the thing is, oh, I mean, Yoda she, did. Oh, right. Yoda well, came on, back. She went back to the planet he was on, maybe, to yeah. mourn him, and mm-hmm. then his ghost is there. She tripped and fell on some rocks. <laughs> yeah. I Just have know. her go out that way. I don't know. I guess, you know, it's it's kind of hard to explain somebody that died in outer space. Well, I mean. And then came back to not life. Not to give it but, away, but Last Jedi, that was probably the death scene if they didn't go through with the whole Force thing. That probably would have been, it would have sucked, but yeah, when that happened. I was like, oh, well, that's how they dealt with her character, I guess. And then, and it know. would have been a great intro to have Mark Hamill come back and stay there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so many things that probably could have been done differently. Abrams and company, they're kind of picking up the good and bad pieces. A lot of people, yeah. you know, it's actually divided fans <clears throat> to Last Jedi. And the decision to recast her would divide them, too. Yeah. So, well, they should have had a contingency plan. I mean, not... Not sounding horrible or anything, but they should have had a contingency plan. These people aren't getting any younger. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, have different. They should have shot them all back to back. That would have been the ideal They'd thing. Done that before. Yeah. So, yeah. Did it with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I think in this case, you know, it's um, like Heath Ledger was almost the same because they had plans for the Joker in the third one, mm-hmm. and at that time, like I loved his performance, and I just thought. Just to complete the story, just getting down to the story itself, it'd probably be best to recast, but they didn't go that route. And that's my opinion, of course. But I think the third one would have been even better from reports that I've heard. I mean, mm-hmm. he was going to be broken out of Gotham Jail, or the the asylum. Well, there's a comic scene where Bane like went to his cell, and yeah. they just left him in there. And Scarecrow wasn't was even like, going to be not, the I'm judge. I'm dealing with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, exactly right. And you could have just had a you know a shadowy figure in the cell right. talking back and forth, and you could have replayed some of uh, Ledger's Joker mannerisms, you know, right. the mumbles or whatever, or even a laugh or something. Yeah, something you know? like that. Yeah. So, you know, and of course, Matrix did the same thing mm-hmm. with uh, Oracle. I think it was Oracle. No, they just they said that she had to change her appearance so that she yeah, could. She get was they wrote, yeah, yeah, right. Right, and I know it's also because there's so many years attached to this character, this certain actress playing her, but I, I'm just trying to serve the story in my yeah. in my idea. Like, I I could I would either say recast or CG create and just be subtle with it. Don't like actually try to push the yeah. envelope like they did with uh, what's his face in Rogue One. Um, forgot Tarkin. the act. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Peter Cushing. Yes, yes, like. When they showed him from the back, mm-hmm. looking at this star, yeah. I was like, perfect. Yeah. That's all you need to do, and there's a little reflection. Mm-hmm. And just as I was feared, we went closer, and he turned around. And, you know, I've seen worse. But that was... From a distant, in a distance, it wasn't terrible. But, yeah, the mm-hmm. closer they got, I mean, it was easily noticeable. But... And the layer recreation at the end, which yeah. I think they should have just shown, again, shown her back. He gives her the message. Yeah. Door shuts. That's it. It still kind of like you know yeah they, they're very limited still i mean they're getting there but it's it's taking some time so i don't know it's it's tough tough spot most likely they'll just have to refer to her you know off camera she took a trip you know which doesn't make sense probably but they also say this movie could pick up years after the last one so that or you know they're you, you know we the crawl is done you know the camera pans down there's a space battle 
and you know you got Leia's ship or something mm-hmm. like that, yeah. and you know you got a really cool, sweet looking space battle that goes on for a few minutes. The ship, boom, goes, right. Right. you know, and and then maybe you have the, you know, there's the send off. You That's know, probably what they're gonna have to do that, right? Because yeah. if it's not gonna be an off camera death, that the first part of the movie addresses mm-hmm. the loss. I mean, that to me is more acceptable than recasting. Just because yeah. of how strongly I yeah. feel about it. Right, right. But, you know, I don't get paid to do make those decisions. <laughs> well, so what also would have been cool is, you know, they would have to do a lot of reshoots. But, like, Laura Dern's character, you know, how she sacrificed herself. They would have done reshoots and had yeah. Carrie do that. You would lose those extra scenes she had. But that's a great way to go out. And, yeah. you know, if there's a space battle, you'd almost see them, like, talking to her ship and saying... What are you doing, uh, General Leia? Right. She, and she just sacrifices herself, but it's such a repeat to the Lord Dern character. So, yeah. I, you know, it, it stinks. You know, obviously, this wasn't predicted, her passing. It really sucks, you know, but. The, the problem uh, that we have now is we have two movies that have kind of given the impression that the last of the great Jedis were Princess Leia and Luke. Mm-hmm. And so now we're left all thinking, okay, then there is no more teachers left when there should be. I think Yoda helped though with yeah. that as well. Yeah, uh, but there, yeah, there are no more teachers. Mm-hmm. You know, the Jedi as anyone ever knew it is done. Yeah, you know, and we'll see what it does. I mean, obviously the Force still exists. Mm-hmm. You know, Ray is very strong with the Force. We'll, see, you know, you got Kylo f- emoing around. You know, and <laughs> well, you have the Knights of Ren, which I can't uh, wait to see that if that happens. Like, it's almost a calling card with. Um, Snoke being taken out. Yeah, everyone's like auditioning to be the new leader. Yeah, it's not as you know cut and dry like it looked like in Last Jedi. Like Ray, you know, but what a quick Kyle and Ren sad new... death though to give to somebody. I mean, yeah, somebody that's been building and building and building and building, and then zoop. I think the problem is there's just there's so much uh, anticipation before Force Awakens came out, and then after we still yeah. had thoughts like who could it be? Right. There was actually better plans for Ray's parents by Abrams. And mm-hmm. of course that was changed. So they might be able to backtrack that. They a still bit. really can because yeah. Kylo Ren could easily have just been lying to her to get her to That's what go I to his side. You know yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, that wouldn't be the first time bad guys have lied to someone to get their way. Yeah. Cause he's know? so close. You know, they, had and, you that... know, a lot of that's the fans fault on Snoke. You know, Lucasfilm wasn't building up who's Snoke, mm-hmm. you know, not a single person. Mm-hmm. from pr was no building up you know who is this character you know and the fans came up with a zillion theories and so then when it doesn't happen people get pissed off they're bummed because they probably missed weeks of work yeah to, uh, come up with exactly <laughs> it's gonna break the internet i'm gonna release my <laughs> yeah and at my age I just, <laughs> yeah this, this is dumb <laughs> yeah it's, it's like oh we're going to opening night oh what oh he's mo- moving lightsaber what? I'll tell you what, though. That's one of the coolest saber fight scenes in that room and that whole thing. That was awesome, yeah. That whole scene was just freaking sweet. Right. I just watched it again um, and on my trip, and it was just, just phenomenal. It was great, and it wasn't predictable. Like It, it kind of was at first because it was screaming Jedi mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. she's like, I see good in you. I'm like, we're already here. But you know, it's like it's like, what do you want, fans? Do you want do you want this to actually be like the original trilogy or something different? And they yeah, can, I'm mean, glad they went different personally. Yeah, I really am because I mean, it's, it's just it's not as predictable. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and every Star Wars movie had a formula for the most part. Mm-hmm. Empire broke it by that you know ending and stuff, but you know the the formula is there. You yeah, know. this had probably well. I guess it was about the same type of ending. Like they had to rebuild the mm-hmm. um, the resistance. Yes, exactly. But then you had the Luke moment, which was kind of upbeat and yeah. positive. Which you know sucks that yeah. <laughs> and Laura Dern was one of the coolest movie deaths of all time. Yeah, that was awesome. You know, hyperspace through the ship. That Nobody's seen that before. You know, yeah, people still had enough time. Some people did, I guess, to complain. To the theater when that scene came up, thinking that the sound system failed, and that's stupid. <laughs> I thought, I thought <laughs> minute, the drama man. of the actual type space, yeah, you right. know, because it's you, there's no sound in space. And right. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool switch. Yeah, it was like a yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they definitely have uh, a tough road to take with Episode Nine, unless 
they've already figured it out, but I don't think everyone's going to be satisfied, obviously. There's just no. no way around it, but, you know, I think people have to kind of forgive because she passed away. Unless you want to recast, they're just going to have to, yeah. you know, just shove her character to the side or refer to her on another planet or something. I don't know. <laughs> just kick her off the bridge. I don't know. If you don't want to eat your vegetables, just push it off to the side of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Stephen Bochco was a huge TV pioneer. He developed shows, Hill Street Blues, NYPD Blues, uh, Cop Rock. Oh, <laughs> can't win them all. Yeah, I can't. The hey, hell was that was Cop risky Rock? and he, they took the risk. That was uh, mid-80s Cop Rock. Mm-hmm. What was that about? Oh, it was... Uh, Cops that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Were they like musicians on the side or something like that? They sang... Throughout the whole show. Oh, it was a musical? Yes. No. Oh. That's what it was. They sang throughout the whole show. Gross. Like, I'm booking this guy and just crap like that. I, I'm paraphrasing. But yeah. <laughs> no, it, yeah, that was that was a huge risk, but it was probably so 80s, I guess you could say. It wasn't 80s enough because it got canceled pretty quick. Yeah. Well, they had serious actors singing in, the, in the show. Yeah. Cop rock. But aside from that show, he did produce some really... Uh, Great uh, television, and I definitely remember NYPD Blue growing up. I remember seeing, uh, sadly, Dennis Franz's ass for some reason on TV. <laughs> what the hell's going on, Mom? <clears throat> go to, go back to bed. Um, yeah, he definitely pushed barriers, you know, with uh, nudity, violence, language. Do you guys have any memories of any of his shows? Doogie Hauser, I remember. Did he do that show? Yep. Yeah. I didn't know that. Doogie! Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I mean, Hill Street Blues was a uh, very pioneering cop show, very serious on the drama side and stuff like that. It was, he had a phenomenal career. Were you a fan of his work? Um, Overall, I was, yeah. yeah. I mean, you Except know. Except for Cop Rock. Yeah, everybody can make fun of Cop Rock. I don't think, <laughs> I, I'm sure he's making fun of Cop Rock. <laughs> Not anymore. He's like, I lost a bet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh. He had a great career, you know. I mean, you, you can't you can't deny this guy. He had a great success. Yeah, it's a shame he passed away at age seventy four. Yeah, <laughs> damn cancer. You'll be good. To, you'll be happy to know though that you can purchase the full series of Cop Rock. I think Mitch should buy it, and we should do a commentary. No, this is going to be worse than the room. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember what Steve did during the room? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was that was a good that was a good commentary. What did I do during the room? You played. You started playing a game on your phone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, you lost. So- I still made fun of the movie. Oh yeah, still, you still. Uh, yeah, you still. All you need is show. twenty minutes just to give a full breakdown of the entire movie. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the love scene. I was a little tired of looking. Yeah, at and probably scared. Mr. Wizzo's <laughs> right. Mr. Wizzo's bottom is anything. <laughs> Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. oh gosh. Yeah, that was that was definitely something. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> Almost got to the Oscars, bud. Almost got there. He tried to try to uh take the mic from uh Franco at the oh, yeah. I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Frank was like, Nope. Yeah. Nice. I, to do. I yeah. shared it, but I didn't watch it. It looked pretty terrifying. Was it was it any good? It was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, imagine an actor nowadays uh, that has, like, one level of acting and they don't really change it up. Nicholas Cage? N- mm-hmm. Well, that would be a good one. Or who's that kid, uh, Michael Sierra or whatever his name is? Oh, okay, yeah. Seems like he's always one person in every movie that he's in. Same person. <laughs> That's kind of what it's like, although he's dressed up like the Joker and talks a little bit like him, but he still has his normal Wazoo accent. Mm-hmm. Which, I, you know, if you put it into context, would be great for a Joker, though. Yeah? Because the Joker isn't normal, <laughs> and neither is Wazo. He definitely is not normal. I Maybe he see... could be Batmite. <laughs> is Batmite kind of kooky? <laughs> I would trust my children with the Joker before I trust them with Tommy Wazo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a lot of love right there. Daddy Daycare 3, starring mm. Tommy Wazo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hi, kids. Oh, hi, kids. <laughs> Poopy in the putty. <laughs> Cut. Yeah. You're my favorite kid. <laughs> oh, that's creepy itself. 
<laughs> That's the tagline. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, doggy. <laughs> Steve's trying to hang himself right now. Um, <laughs> you might want to flip that over. The episode isn't done yet. <laughs> I am just waiting for it to get done. <laughs> we got a we got a gel timer going just for the fun of it. I think it's gel. I don't know. Well, <laughs> find out essence, someday. The essence of Wazo. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, to talk about better things, uh, Avengers: Infinity War. You know, it's due out later this month. Uh, I guess lately that uh, there's been an announcement. I didn't really know about it until I saw this hashtag on Twitter. It was at Thanos demands your silence. Apparently, Marvel's going to have a few uh, screenings of like the first thirty minutes mm. at various fan events. So, yeah, of course, Russos are like, you know, please, you know, uh, don't give anything away. I'm really worried about this movie, though. Yeah, I, I'm worried that it'll gel well, and I'm worried that it's going to end up like an apocalypse movie. You think so? Uh, yeah, that'd be a huge disappointment. You've got a it, crap it ton of you're characters right. that work great on their own, but you're bringing everybody in. Mm -hmm. And then comes the concern of, are they getting enough screen time? Um, does it make sense? I, I mean, this is a tremendous undertaking. That'd be great. It works in the comic book, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it'll equate to... From what I heard, and I don't I'm know. I'm keeping my hopes true. low so that yeah. I can be pleasantly surprised, I guess I should say. I guess the, they may all branch off to their own storyline. So, yeah. you know, that they might not ever be in the same room or whatever. So that probably makes more sense, I guess, with all those characters. Yeah. Like, you know, from the previews, you got Thor in space with the Guardians. So right. they could be on their own little mission. That would make more sense, probably. But, you know, I'm sure we'll still get that, you know. First movie is going to be total character building. Yeah, Second well, movie is going to be... you don't have to build too much. Yeah. there's really not... Uh, too many new characters mm -hmm. to because Black Panther just had his own movie and we already know all about that and yeah. they'll be going to that world so yeah um, yeah it'll be interesting but yeah it's kind of uh, I think it's kind of stupid on their part though to do this <laughs> within the same month the movie's coming out right the full movie yeah it lacks a lot of sense see like a month or two gap but this just seems kind of uh, reckless to me you know i know it's marvel though they're gonna make money either way yeah even if it sucks which uh, you know i hope not i don't think it will i think they got the formula down so well and i think they've adjusted uh, a lot lately you know i think the humor's kind of died down a little bit um except for thor ragnarok which you, you could talk about that i could yeah <laughs> take it away <laughs> I saw Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. And it changed his life. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There were parts that were really cool. And a lot of it was just really cringeworthy. Only because it was Thor. Mm -hmm. You know, Thor in the comics isn't some joker at all. You know, yeah. he doesn't joke around. In fact, it's pretty much the opposite with him. Um, but, you know, I it was... It, I did, despite myself, enjoy the movie. Um, I think the Hulk looked better in Avengers than he did in this movie. Oh, do you? Just yeah. a little bit in some spots. Mm -hmm. um, still great, you know, but just, uh, you know, there's it was just all humor. And, did you like his personality, the Hulk? How it's developed? Not really. No? No? No. Oh, that's what, too bad. Did he ever have that personality Like Valkyrie, in the she was cool. Yeah. He's had several personalities in the comics. There's been but, great yeah. Hulks, too, like different colors. Yeah, faces. red, green. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I liked uh, Valkyrie. I thought that was a cool character. Jeff Goldblum in it is just... <laughs> nutty. Jeff Goldblum is nutty. Yeah. Yeah, he is. That's a good word for him. Nutty. Like, oh, we're, we're shooting a film? Oh, I, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, funny story. Uh, That's uh, I imagine, I envision him dressing like that. In his own personal life. <laughs> he designed the whole movie around his wardrobe. Right. Now he plays... What does he play again? The uh, Jeff Goldblum's character. Um, I can't remember the character's name, but he's kind of like the guy in charge of that planet. And, yeah, you yeah. know, the whole fight uh, arena. Well, his character is the brother of Benicio Del Toro from Guardians. Right. So I was just wondering... If and it's knew... a character in the comics. Mm -hmm. I just don't remember. Do you... So you don't remember any characteristics or anything? Like Not really. Um, I remember, I mean, I read Planet Hulk, which mm -hmm. a lot of this was derived from, especially on that planet and the whole thing. 
Um, and that was awesome. And if you ever get a chance to see the animated Planet Hulk, see that. Well, that I knew was, it was on Netflix. Yeah, so you could catch it. It was fa- it was phenomenal. You know, so um, I'd watch that before you watch Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, really. Yeah, sure. I'd is watch it, that first. What is it? Your least favorite Marvel movie, or is there another one? It's not Iron Man three bad to you, is it? No, no. <laughs> Meaning no. it's like its own movie. I think my least funny, favorites funny, were funny. Iron Man 2 and 3. Mm-hmm. In order of the worst, I would say it was Thor Ragnarok, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3 is the worst. But again, uh-huh. there were parts of this movie that I thought were really cool. Yeah. yeah. And I thought some of the effects were amazing. Sure. Um, I love the world. I love the colors. Yeah. It's very nice. Do you think that they amped it up with comedy just so that they could explain some of the uh, Guardians? Like they could kind of tie that in together. Well, th- you're, if you're teaming him up with them, but also it'd be fun for him to be serious with them as, right. as well, you know, because um, you already have Drax. Yeah. Who's pretty serious <laughs> at times. I just know that every time I lose one of my eyes, you know, I just joke around <laughs> for days and days <laughs> yeah. afterwards. And I'm like, you guys have a lovely time. We'll be right back. Yeah. Oh! Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. But yeah, after the movie was over, I was kind of, uh, you know, I wasn't like. Oh I just God, feel like it's a it's so a rare. throwaway Marvel Universe movie. Yeah, and when I say throwaway, I mean it's just really not. It doesn't develop the plot of the Marvel Universe or anything like that. It's just kind of its own little one and done. It's close as you're going to get to Planet Hulk, probably. I think they right did the best they could with what they had. You know, with they were doing like one off movies. Yeah, then I can see them doing that. But right, yeah, I, it'll be interesting. But yeah, it's kind of it's a filler too to get you to Infinity War. Right, so. Now, are you guys excited for Infinity War, or are you kind of like, you know, I'll see it when I see it? I, I'll i go see it right off the bat. Um, my only concern is is that how many years have we been waiting for this movie to happen? And then they've really never talked about the direction that they're going after this movie happens. There's one more Avengers. Yeah. They just, stopped, they just <laughs> finished filming, and then... Well, they did say this will bring yeah. in a whole new phase mm-hmm. after these Avenger movies. Captain Marvel, Marvel will come after. Yep. You have Ant Man and the Wasp in July. Yeah. Um, they did say they're actually not giving away Avengers 4 title right now because it's a big spoiler. Said so it's gonna it's a scary title. That's what people say. Mm. It's probably just meaning comic book world. Yeah. Everybody knows what this title means. Do over. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are like New Avengers. That might be the title, and people will be like, "Oh, clean the slate." Who do you think is gonna? die if anybody in this film well we know for a fact that the cap is done after the fourth one comes out Mm -hmm. well and so so is thor yeah 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 of course ragnarok with its uh, flaws i guess uh it might have actually revitalized that franchise and right more because they were kind of going for broke basically (laughs) yeah with this one and Hemsworth did say he'd do more Thors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know if they wanted him to, they had so. fun. But, I'd yeah. like to see more um, Doctor Strange, but uh, you know, plans for that. I think there's going to be such a shakeup with this. Yes, that we don't know where it's going to go, and will people like it after that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. And of course, Spider Man. He's going to be Iron Spider in, in yep. Infinity War, which I'm the biggest scene. I'm like kind of. When I see it, I get like you know anxious uh, or just you know just worried about what the hell's going on here. He's in that circle thing, yeah, and he's clearly going up into space. He takes his mask off, and I'm like, how the hell is he gonna get out of this? Right? I'm like, what? It, what the hell is this thing? Do you recognize it at all from the comics? Or yeah, um, there'll there'll be an explanation for it. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. My my one question with this is, Iron Man has the ability to go the speed of sound. So he breaks the sound barrier mm-hmm. a couple times in the first Mach 1 suit, right? The new one. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. talking about the first Iron Man, right? Yeah, first Iron Man. Yeah. And then we see him in the new Avengers movie, and he's flying, he's flying, he can't get anywhere. All of a sudden, his foot transforms into this giant jet. Yeah, that kind of looks hokey. I hope they fix okay, that Okay, so he can or can't fly the speed of sound, and the ship is flying faster than the speed of I don't know. I don't know. Is um, this new suit just not able to handle well, that kind of power? This new suit is called the um, ah, shit. It's like a skin-like suit. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it, what's it called? A uh, 
bleeding something bleeding armor uh, it form it's like almost an exoskeleton that resides underneath the skin mm -hmm. yeah i don't know if i don't know if it'll be that uh intense with that like it might just be yeah. like like in three where you just shove it. well that was under his skin but like look at back a black panther you yeah. know he had nano nanobites uh form his suit and his newest suit so i don't know if it's a little bit of that tech but yeah it's definitely like uh the suit it's very it's not as armored up yeah and yeah he puts his legs together and then there's a rocket that forms with both legs which kind of i'm like how's that work <clears throat> i don't know we're gonna see the Did whole michael busted. bay create that no <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he came by for one day yeah. and he did did what he does. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think you'll finally go into space. Oh, bleeding edge armor. I think that's what okay. it's called. Yeah, so you'll finally go into space. I'm I'm sure. But he's already been in outer space in the first Avengers. Yeah, I I don't. Well, that was through a black hole, and if you remember, he lost True. he lost all his power when he went out there. Yeah, and he just drifted back to Earth through yeah through the portal, whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, Spider Man looks great. He's got two other movies coming for sure, oh, yeah. so they're not going to kill him right now. No, that'd be terrible. Yeah, and I like that kid, and I love the character. You I know? do too. I mean, yeah, he's like the first. I'm excited one for the Spider Man piece. Yeah, yeah. He really cool. embodies that age. You know, even though he's probably going to be in his twenties before they're done. Right. You buy it. He's a high school student. Yeah. And in real life, he's he's pretty much Spider Man. Like he mm -hmm. can do all the flips and stuff. And well, and he's got such a youthful appearance that I think he's going to be able to get away with it for a while. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know? for sure. And we can finally see our adult Spider-Man eventually. You right. know, I mean, I guess the uh, other Spider-Man movies, they did become like an adult, have a job and all that. Yeah, and I, I, now we haven't even seen Mary Jane or yeah or anything like that yet. So I'm waiting for them to legalize Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not legal? That'll make the Avengers more enjoyable. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta hide something real quick. Yeah. Well, speaking of Spider-Man, uh, PS4, they have their exclusive game coming out. It's been a couple years in development, I guess. It's coming out September 7th, 2018, so it's a little bit before my birthday, so. Cool. You guys want to buy me anything? It makes you know, me want to have a PS4, though. I mean. That's one of my questions for you. Are you going to buy one? <laughs> Spider-Man 2 on the 360 is still, to this day, one of my favorite games. I mean, just the mechanics and, mm -hmm. you know, the... The free roam New York City, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, just swinging across the kind of gave whole, it that yeah. GTA feel. It was, yeah, it did, yeah. you know, and it was really just awesome. I, uh, you know, I've cracked that one open a couple times here and there and still just have fun playing it. I like, yeah, I like yeah. games like that. You can, you can, you don't have to do missions all the time. You can have fun with it. Yeah. You just do things at your own pace or you can do missions, you know, you right. can do whatever you want, you know. Well, yeah. But it was fun. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure this game will probably be pretty awesome. It, it looks like a game changer. It looks like it's their Arkham Knight for Spider-Man. Oh, like, nice. The graphics just look great. I mean, if you go watch Jeez, the gameplay. That sounds really cool. It's, I mean, it's beautiful, the gameplay. And uh, he's got like a white spider on his mm. suit. It's like a little change. It, it's actually cool. They've. I think they've tweaked it a little bit, but this is going to be its own story. It's not going to have any canon with comics or movies. Mm. It's just it's just have fun. It seems cool type of game. You can play with the world. It's uh, you know open world. You can play mm -hmm. with the environments. You know, similar to probably Spider Man Two, except the graphics yeah. are going to be much oh, better. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> maybe PlayStation Xbox will do that joint venture where they'll share a, a network or whatever the hell that that'd be sweet. People have been wanting to do forever, but yeah, that just suck. Um, yeah, I, I guess I thought it was going to be on every system. Yeah. I Thankfully, I have a PS4. So <laughs> <laughs> yay for yeah, we'll rub it in. <laughs> exactly. Like, Steve, did you see? Oh, sorry. No. Well, oh, you know, Xbox has got I won't care, I'm just going to camp out over here and yeah, play the that's game fine. myself. That's fine. So, you know. That's fine. Sure. That's fine. You can probably beat it quicker than I can. <laughs> it would take me, like, months. I, I haven't even played my uh batman games just games like that though i, I just mean, collect them at this point i don't have much time like I, grand I theft GTA, auto do you GTA really even do any of the missions no i just go around steal cars and beat people up well, i did missions in the beginning but yeah yeah of course that's all i do now i did enough like, missions in gta just to have enough stuff mm -hmm. right and get a couple powerful like cars and things like that mm -hmm. and now all i do is just wreak havoc and traffic pedestrians and see how long i can run from the cops until they kill me it's a stress reliever yeah, yeah. it is it's it's uh and you can that game is still expensive yeah it's not amazing it's been out for it's still fun they still add to it 
Yeah, I think that's what you helps, know. right? Yeah, nothing's more fun than trying to get in that army base and get out with a jet before they <laughs> completely destroy you. Isn't it like four years old? Three, four. Oh, years it's old. older than that. Isn't it might it? be five or six okay. now. I mean, I, it's, it's at least approaching five. It's still sixty bucks. Yeah, the that's game crazy. engine is yeah. so expansive that they're actually mm-hmm. using um, the the information that they're getting from online players mm-hmm. to teach self driving cars. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, doesn't everybody at one point try to drive really safe in GTA? Then that gets old, and then you just start crashing into cars. <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen um, people play that and just follow the traffic laws. Mm-hmm. You know, stopping at stoplights. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Right. Because Take you can. The yeah, because destroying gets old. You got to... I don't know. Break. I mean, you get in a mobile command center and you get to the right spot. <laughs> you can live for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the PS4 and Xbox One versions have like first person view, right? Uh-huh. So you I, can do either or. Yeah. I guess if you're driving, it's kind of fun. But for me, like, no, like yeah. you know, every time I take a taxi, like I skip all that. Like I don't think I've ever actually ran through a whole ride. You know. Yeah. Although sometimes it's funny when you tell them to hurry up, they're like hitting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isn't that where funny. the whole selfie craze came from? What the the Grand Theft Auto, where everybody would take a selfie of themselves? I don't know. Playing the game, I don't know. It was the in character thing, though. That, that you had yeah. a phone in the game, right? Yeah. But you had the ability to take a picture of yourself while doing something. So, you know, they'd beat somebody up, and then they take a selfie of themselves smiling. I never. I don't remember <laughs> mission of that, but I, I haven't played the expansion, so I'm sure. There's... I always took selfies of me with my dead victim in the background. Yeah, so yeah. they're visible. <laughs> that was. I must have taken a hundred of those. But there was also <laughs> like cheats where you could, you could change the uh, the date and the time on um, on your PlayStation. And if you knew the correct stocks to buy, you could make like billions of dollars so that you'd have just a stock bank of everything. And Oh, my. Yeah. I keep wanting to buy the golf course, but I just don't have enough. I'm sure there's a code I could probably get more. Oh, I'm sure. Or, yeah. or do more jobs or whatever. But, yeah. I, I still need to get into the online gameplay. I'm I'm so behind. You know, I'm just kind of. Yeah, we just do the free roam online, you know, where it's not. People aren't killing each other. Able to. It's oh, really? Like, yeah, you can go in like a private session yeah zach and i'll do that Mm -hmm. you know and you can just it'll be just us two and you know i'll create a diversion and he gets the army base and you know (laughs) steals a jet (laughs) nice you know it's just i went to like the free area whatever like everyone's in and it's chaotic it is like Like everybody's killing everybody oh Oh, yeah yeah Yeah. i i don't know what happened some glitch probably someone someone knew or whatever but i was just robbing um you know a convenience store clerk and all of a sudden I'm taken out of that um, convenience store, and I'm in the middle of five dudes with just big ass weaponry, and they have masks, and they just shoot the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck happened? An online gang, yeah, of gamers. <laughs> One of my favorite gaming moments of all they time. They knew I was new to the world. They're yeah, like, oh, we'll yeah. Bring him in. Well, I was driving. I was just driving around like a psycho, and I saw a bunch of the red dots, you know, and I came around this corner. And they're all like having a fight with each other. There's like five or six guys. <laughs> and I plowed through four of them. Just kept on driving, you know. It was just, uh, did you now did you uh, have your awesome. headset on so you could hear what they were saying? No. Oh no. I was just I, I was giggling to myself for like three days afterwards, you know. Oh my god. It was a good time. Well that's what I did when I when I like respawned after yeah. being brutally murdered. Yeah. Uh, I took. I got into a car. <laughs> I, didn't know if I, I was like, you know, this is really dick of me, but I didn't know. I didn't know you could do whatever you wanted. So I was like, can I just hit some people? I was just talking to myself. I'm like, yeah, let's just hit a few people. I'm like, hey, I think there's some jackasses. Yeah. Right there. I just, yeah I just so the red dots them. are yeah. actually gamers. Out of there. I was like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Actual gamers. <laughs> so all of a sudden they're fighting fun. All right, guys, dead. this is gonna be awesome. Here comes Steve with a car. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, a whole bunch of them have to respawn. Or anytime someone's in a helicopter, I just get out the rocket launcher and, you know, see it. You know. I finally got the helicopter I wanted. Oh, right. my gosh. And they're gone. You what, know? Was, what was that game? Because for a little while there, there was this video on Facebook. Um, this guy had a C4, and it had a, I think it was a military game, 
And it was always somebody trying to take off in an airplane or something like that. And he'd quickly attach the C4. And as they were taking off, he'd hit the explode button. <laughs> and you'd hear those, no, no! Uh-huh. The Battlefield games, you could do stuff Is that like what that. that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, that game. Uh, I love that game. <laughs> But yeah, if if Spider Man Four is like that, yeah, I, yeah, might get kill people. Who knows? But you could definitely throw them around. Looks like, but yeah, very <laughs> just, exciting. Just yeah, kill a be bunch fun. of random people fighting <laughs> each other. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> And, you know, you get in your mobile command center, and you have that huge cannon <laughs> yeah. that you can shoot. And I don't know how many times, like. Either Zach will drive or I'll drive, and you know one of us is on the cannon, just you need making people upset. You know? <laughs> Guys, I only got 15 minutes before I got to do my homework. Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Steve fun. just throws a C4 in the middle of the grenade. Just <laughs> grenades are awesome. <laughs> and the whole thing, there's a million things you can do to just really disrupt someone's. Happiness is someone's happiness and their their intent. <laughs> You're just sipping on a you <laughs> I really feel like going home and playing that now. <laughs> I remember on Halo when they had it, uh, the first Halo Two. Uh, I was playing online uh, with a friend, and this guy. He couldn't have been more than 13. He goes, I'm an elite, and don't kill me, I'm an elite. So everybody just went. And He's pretty much asking for it. Yeah. 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 Don't advertise. Don't kill me, guys, I'm an elite. I used to love oh, what's the first thing doing that. Does? Yeah. Because those kids would <laughs> scream doing? and scream oh, on the God. top of their lungs. Yeah, oh, they get so mad. And every time you crack them with a sniper, you know, they just get even more upset. <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> Asshole. I think, I think he left the game after we all killed him. What are you guys doing? I'm an elite. <laughs> well, speaking of violence, uh, Deadpool, the animated series, it just got canceled before it could even come out. Yeah. Donald Glover, who's, you know, big actor. He's going to be young Lando Calrissian and solo movie coming out soon. He's also in Spider-Man Homecoming and Community, the mm-hmm. TV show. But he's writing it with his brother, Steven. And yeah, I guess they got a little too raunchy for FX's taste. Apparently, oh, is that what it was? Yeah, apparently it was mm-hmm. over a Taylor Swift episode. Oh, boy. <laughs> like Deadpool had a thing for her or something, and that they just thought it went too far. But they're... Uh, Donald and Steven's inspiration for the show was Rick and Morty. So yeah. oh. I don't know if you're big fans of theirs. But yep. That's the way they were kind of going with the show. Sounds like it'd been really cool. But the minute it got canceled. I had heard a couple other things too, though, that they were way over budget on things and it's they possible. were just. But they craft, like, you know, they have that show Atlanta right now on Netflix yeah. and it's very critically acclaimed. And Donald's a big actor. He's oh, a yeah. Big rapper too. Childish Gambino. Hmm. I mean, he's got. You know, he's he's at probably the height of his career. And he could probably go further, you know. It depends on if Solo's a big hit or not. He's definitely a rising star, that's for sure. So, yeah, I, I get that they could be... Um, well, you know, they're probably they're answering Marvel and FX, so I'm sure it's very chaotic. And, right. But this this needs Deadpool. to be a Netflix thing. Yeah, well, it's just kind of surprising. Like, Why really? take it to... Uh, it's Deadpool, guys. Yeah. Do you, do you think they're going to hand you a full house script? Like, you can't... It's Deadpool. No. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> You know, yeah. Written comics. Yeah, it's it's a bummer. I think it could have really been a cool show, but yeah, out of um, I probably anger at first. Uh, Donald released like fourteen pages of one of their scripts on Twitter, and it got taken down, of course. And oh, of course. I think the execs were saying that Donald was too busy, and it was a complete lie. Yeah, he was like no, it was I was not busy. So yeah, what yeah. what was the Taylor Swift episode? I. Uh, don't remember too much about it. He just kind of was like obsessed over her and not like he killed her or anything like that, but it was just kind of, I it's probably just making fun of her, you know, Gotcha. and just obsessed over her songs and crap. I, I don't know, but hmm. it is, what I it guess is. they had their limits. So, you know, I mean, FX puts out a lot of raunchy stuff, so they do, I guess it must've been too raunchy or they put just, out the or they just wanted to be too safe. Yeah. Well, they put out sons of anarchy. Yeah. Or, you know, because Marvel and Fox, the whole thing, that it's yeah, just another too. stab in the mm-hmm. uh, war, the internal war that they have going on. And Disney, mm-hmm. of course, it's probably under Marvel TV, right. which uh, it's such a mess. I don't know what's going on. And I think they're yeah. still trying to 
finalize everything. So there's uh, there's a lot more to come. It's not going to be a. I don't think it's going to be a, a you know smooth transition. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a bummer, but um yeah, it is what it is. I guess. I mean, he's they're they're fine. They're going to be fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. not like they needed this or anything. But I could see FX needing needing them more than anything. But yeah, hopefully they don't take their show elsewhere. Atlanta, it's every year it's gotten a lot of awards. I've never seen it, but I guess it's a pretty good show. So hmm. Steve's got some great news for us. What's that? <laughs> Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, kind of talking about that, I mean, you know, the comic's coming back in August, which is awesome. You know, it's been a couple years or so. Do you guys know why they stopped making the comic? The only reason why I knew is because they were trying to get the rights back. I've, or so I thought. Yeah, unless that's well, wrong. I think wasn't Marvel just like pissed Fox was making a movie, and they're like, "We'll just screw you over and cancel the series." Uh huh. Yeah, that's that what was I remember. it. Yeah. It wasn't a sales issue, wasn't anything like that. So I mean, yeah, nice. you know, like with the Deadpool thing, you know, Fox and Marvel have had some. There's some battles going on there. So, but personally, as a Fantastic Four fan, you know, I'm really excited for the uh, relaunch in August. You know, the team getting back together and sure, yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm. uh August can't get here fast enough. Was this a rumor for a while happening? Or was um, it sudden? Well, I don't think there was anything official, but people were talking about it and talking about it and talking mm-hmm. about it. And, you know, a couple of comic pros here and there. What a know. bad decision it was on Marvel's part to cancel. <laughs> well, book. no, but just kind of wanting to talk about it coming back. And then you got the, uh, um, you know, some of the vague talk and, and mm-hmm. things. So, you know, everybody kind of knew it was coming. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. I'm uh, I'm excited for it. I was... Just reading some old Fantastic Four the other day on Comixology, and well, there's still so much know. out there. Oh, there's old a material, right? Sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Yeah, there's a million things that would that would do well, you know. And they're going to bring back Wolverine at some point, right? Yeah, oh, it won't be Hugh yeah. Jackman, but no. yeah, no. okay. Yeah. Be a CGI. The, right no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying movie. the comics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's not already, I don't know. I mean. I was reflecting on the the last movie they did. How you know it had it was a, a mess. Yeah, but it had some moments I thought that were pretty good. And I liked it better than the other ones. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, it wasn't perfect. But I mean, I like the thing looked cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought they did some cool stuff from a um, CGI perspective on that film. I needed pants. I probably needed other pants. Ways. But I mean, as far <laughs> as the, the look weird. though of them yeah, and stuff, yeah. I mean, I, they. That was awesome. It was way better than the uh, styrofoam suit that yeah the shield was. I wearing. liked that at the time, but yeah, Chickless was so short, and it's like in the comics, this guy takes on the Hulk. It's like he's looking up to the Hulk at this point, you know. It's yeah. Not... So I wonder if that's also part of the reason why they brought brought him back to comics because they know the yeah. MCU is probably going to it's going to take the reins and put them into a movie on at their some own. point. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully. Uh, Hopefully that won't be a letdown, especially to Steve, you know, big, yeah. big fan. You know? Yeah, hopefully. I like Fantastic War myself, but uh, yeah, it, that really sucks. There's a lot of good storylines out there, and hopefully hopefully they do, it, they do it just right. Yeah. I don't know. It might be it might be a while, but yeah, that was, I remember that being a pretty dick move at the time. I was basically Stan Lee's baby, you know, he yeah, was going right. to leave the industry, and he wrote that, and that's that changed everything, so. Yeah, that was um just a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. you know it was it's you know it's still a lot of fun i you know i'm enjoying reading every single one of those old ones and you know and i'm i'm reading some from even like four or five years ago you mm-hmm. know and those are really good too so it's uh yeah i think it's going to be a welcome addition back to the marvel universe you so, said august 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 sweet and action comics 1000 comes out this month oh my god so i'm excited for that which is the first of it's uh, uh, superman and it's michael Bendis. Bendis. Yep. He came from Marvel, right? Right, right. So he'll be involved with that. Uh, yeah. There'll be a lot of creators involved with this one. Oh, sweet, sweet. But we'll see his first, our first look at his work uh, with DC there. Um, I might get that. Just I'm telling you, collection. I am ready for it. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. That's so, excellent. You have to. I don't remember when in April, though, it's coming. So I need to look, but. Is it wise to pre-order? You think, or I think it is wise mm-hmm. uh, if it's not too late. Yes. Um, but you know, I, I know if you're in a big area or a market, I would get to your comic store as early as you could on the day it's released. Get on a list. Yeah, there is get a list. on the list. <laughs> Camp out. Um, Star Wars, it old school. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not. It wasn't this week, so that's good. 
That's good. I'm glad they're coming back. I it just felt it just felt unnecessary to cancel that that book, and obviously, I know a lot of you know behind the scenes played into it. So yeah, yeah, which I didn't know for a while, you know, mm-hmm. and then. I get it. <laughs> is that what they yeah. said at the time? It was because of sales. Well, they really didn't say. Yeah, okay, you know, so but that's what people weren't. normally assume when a yeah. book gets canceled. You know, were the sales bad? What was going on there? And right, yeah. Or if they do cancel it, there's usually like a quick rework, and something will come very shortly thereafter. Right, and that didn't happen. You know, so like the Fantastic Five, or, something. or just, yeah, or something, or just even a new title, or yeah, what yeah, have you, but right. they didn't do any of that, mm-hmm. so that kind of led people to believe the normal one plus one equals two, mm-hmm. uh, didn't in this case, so. you have to review that when it comes out. Yeah. And of course, the Action Comics issue 1,000, right? Yes. Or not 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Yep. Wow. Action Comics number one in 1938. Wow. Gosh. Here we are, 1,000 issues later. I wonder how much that goes for right now, if you want to get that. <laughs> That's over a million bucks. Oh, okay. I mean, I know They take that. a check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trade my old cell phone for it. <laughs> Want a Nokia? Right, I yeah. I can hook you up. 5150. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I got Movie Pass finally after, you know, you and Joey, yeah. Steve, got, got yours. And I think Mitch, you're thinking about getting it eventually. Toying with the idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. Um, saw my second movie with it last yeah. Friday. Ready Player One. I haven't read the book or anything, so kind of knew a little bit about yeah. it. And uh, you know, I heard some reviews were good, some were you know bad about the about the film. So I kind of just went in with low expectations, and you know, I was like, you know, it's just going to be like this. Look at all this '80s stuff, guys, and yeah. we're going to distract you while the story sucks, you know. And like I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. I mm-hmm. really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was really good, and it does a lot of. Uh, it makes a lot of improvements from the book, I guess. The book is very 80-centric. I mean, this movie is, too, but it also has a lot of 90s stuff, like yeah. Iron Giants in it, and, you know, uh, probably other things that... I mean, that's the thing. I couldn't even spot all these eggs. There was just so many. It's like uh, yeah. Wreck-It Ralph. They had similar things in the, in that movie. It's just You could watch it several times and get something new out of it, out of it you know, and... Um, I'm excited so for Zach to see it too because he yeah. loved the book. Yes, he yes. loved the book. Yes, so. I remember showing him the trailer yeah. and he was like, "That looks like the book." Yeah, like what he thought of it. So, yeah, the book's by uh, Ernest Klein, and he wrote the screenplay to the movie. So that also kind of helps oh, cool. with yeah. uh, the transition, which right. I think a lot of movies should do if you right. know any ad- adaptations to a book keeps credibility a little bit mm-hmm. more. Yeah, and this movie actually, I guess, from people who read the book, said it improved some of the, mm. the parts of the book. Um, some of the Which, characters. you know, as a writer, sometimes if you get a second chance, you know, right, you can tweak right. things. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, maybe sure. that's what happened. Sure, and of course, you're you're working with Steven Spielberg, who's directing the film. So, yeah, you're going to listen to him. That could be a terrible experience. Right? <laughs> yeah, you know? it's like, no, Steven, I think we got this, you know. It's really, it's really fascinating that, you know, Spielberg, I think, is pushing 70. And to still have the same, you know, he just brought it to this movie, yeah. you know, the same angst he had when he was making E.T. and all those old yeah. films. It has so many callbacks in it. It's just, it's awesome. It's the, it's like the year 2045 and reality is pretty harsh. So people escape in this mm-hmm. oasis, which is a virtual world. And it's like uh, Steve Jobs, like character invented mm. the, the whole oasis. Oh, cool. And the whole thing is just an adventure to get his clues and take ownership of the Oasis. That's mm. the whole thing. And then they got the evil guy who's uh, played by uh, Ben Middleson. He was in Rogue One. Oh, okay. Um, Dark Knight Rises. Really good actor. Mm, like, sure. Know, he's been all yep. over the place. So they're going up against him. And yeah, it's just uh, it's a real fun movie. I really recommend cool. seeing it, especially if you're a gamer. Yeah. There's so many terminologies. Like, you know, if you're an online gamer, you're going to know and yeah, it's really it's really cool. So yeah, I was really surprised, and uh, you know, I thought the uh, main character, who's Wade Watts, played by uh, Ty Sheridan, he played Cyclops in Apocalypse. Oh, cool! He really did a good job, mm-hmm. and good. The, yeah, the characters in that world are fantastic. They're avatars. Yeah, you see a DeLorean do things mm-hmm. you would never imagine seeing huh. it do. It nice. was really cool. The only thing is uh, that bummed me out anyway, and maybe 
repeat viewings, I'll notice it more. But it didn't sound like the DeLorean from Back to the Future and oh, how sure. it accelerated and stuff. Yeah. Mm. But it could actually sound like the real DeLorean. I mean, who knows? Never right? drove one, so yeah, I, 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 don't either. I don't know. I don't know. God, would I yeah. like to drive one? Oh, I, I've gotten in one, and it, it really? sucks. Oh, for a tall person? Yeah, I oh, had no trouble really? getting out of it, and then I did in. Because yeah. you just kind of dive into it. Right. Is it one of those you kind of roll in, roll out? Yeah, I mean, it's just like... Yeah. If I hit a pole, I'm dead. Like it's just. Oh yeah, yeah. you're in a really a cool tight but seat. Yeah, I'm not Michael J. Fox. He, Maybe that's why Eric Stoltz so. didn't end up being in the movie. Oh god, dude's tall. If you ever see if you ever see those uh, scenes he did, man, mm-hmm. he was that movie would have been a downer. Mm-hmm. He was just making it serious. Yeah, just too serious. Yeah, that that's one of those reshoot situations that worked out for the best. Yeah. But that was the same director. They didn't fire the director. No, just yeah. the actor. They were pretty much done with the movie. So, And you get a lot of Zemeckis um, Easter eggs. A lot of cool things in this film. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. It made, I think, $180 million already. Wow. Nice. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah, big hit. So, yeah. cool. Yeah, go see it. I uh, got some Star Trek news to talk about. Uh, Star Trek Discovery 2, or Season 2, is coming. Jonathan Frakes is coming back to direct an yes. episode. Star Trek 4 uh, has been in limbo since Star Trek Beyond came out, and, you know, it didn't do so hot. Right. Thanks. I still thought that was an amazing movie. I liked yeah! It. I yeah. liked it a lot. Why yeah. didn't that movie do well? Well, yeah. Simon I mean, Pegg, you know, who wrote the script for it, uh, co-wrote the script for it, he thinks it's because... The, I guess the time they put it out, it was like Comic-Con week, you know, mm-hmm. like the big San Diego Comic-Con. So he thinks that hurt it. And also the fact that Paramount didn't really know how to market it. Like they were trying to market it as an action movie, you yeah. know, like that yeah. first teaser, which was like released right before Force Awakens. Right. It was kind of like, what the hell is this? You know, it just seemed well, like the a music... Fast and Furious movie because yeah. it's the same director. Right. So. Yeah, he he was actually pissed at the time about that that first teaser. I don't blame him. He's like, "Why'd you play sabotage? Why'd you do all right. that freaking people out?" Because they were gonna make that like a big surprise. Yeah, and yeah, they just blew it with the first trailer. Because but... if you watch the movie, it actually makes sense to put that in there at that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But don't put that in there it's as not a just teaser. Like, wow, it's rock and roll world no. surprise. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> that did not fit the teaser. You Whoever did that needs wrong to be fired. Think, you yeah, know? yeah. I think if, uh, you know, to gather any of the remaining fans to finally come on board who didn't like these reboots, this Beyond was, it was everything. It was a love letter I to liked the fans. it better than the first two, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. I liked the first two. I mean, the first one was really good, you know. I and, liked the first one a lot. The um, second one, you know, I had good moments, but uh, it got the third one, Beyond, was just great. Yeah. yeah, that's how it, that's my order would be, the first Star Trek, Beyond, then Into yeah. Darkness. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was really good, and I thought for sure at the time, like, yes, we're going to get another one, and they had plans to make another one at the time. They were going to bring Chris Hemsworth back to play George Kirk somehow. Oh, wow. His character comes back, and yeah, it seemed like they were all set to go, and of course, the box office returns weren't great, and it's just kind of been like just quiet yeah. about any development. And a lot of people aren't uh, fans of the Tarantino pitch, which we don't know what that is, but... I'm looking forward to it still. I am, but it sounds like now, per uh, Zachary Quinto, who plays Spock, yeah. there's like multiple scripts being worked on. Tarantino oh, so Tarantino is just one of multiple? Well, there's many theories, like maybe they're going to try and put a movie out before he gets to his, because he's he's busy doing his own movie right now. Uh, he's doing that, um, oh gosh, the cult leader movie. Uh, Manson. Yes, yes. So they're thinking maybe they're just trying to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll get his movie after they make another one, or you know, the more scripts the better because that's a potential. Has sequels. Tarantino ever done a, a nope. based on a true no. story? This is going to be interesting. Oh, the Manson thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he can't add his typical Tarantino script. Mm-hmm. I mean, he can't. He can't make it wordy. Well, he might figure out a way to do it. He'll um, find the right actor. He found a Manson. wordy cult leader, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, after, yeah. Well, it's like in Glorious Bastards, you know, mm-hmm. he took the, he took Hitler and he, of course he did whatever he wanted to with Hitler. You know, yeah. And he, he can't have Christoph Waltz be. No, I don't think it, Waltz that would be in it. Yeah. But you know, he might be pretty cool in Star Trek. I don't know what you could give him as a part, but <laughs> it'd be yeah. interesting. But you know, it, you know, the Tarantino thing might not happen, but. I think, like it or not, um, you know, even if you're not a fan of the Tarantino take, which I get, I totally yeah. understand, because I'm still kind of like, it'd be great. And some of the cast members thought, yeah, that's cool. And then some are like, well, I don't know if it would really work. Right. But given that name's been put out there, I think it's helped uh, build up hype again for 
Star Trek four. So I think it's going to help us get it either way, whether he's involved or not. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's generated a lot of buzz. So it's, it's buzz we needed because yeah. there was yeah. no word. The actors didn't even know what was going on. So hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I just had a great idea. Gary Busey is Charles Manson. Too old. Jake yeah. Busey, maybe. And totally wrong body type. <laughs> Yeah, like, Manson was just a little stringy, you know, mm, five foot seven. I know, guy. but Gary Busey has that that creepy charm to him. He's just too. The, old. You know, after the little knock on the head when he when he took that accident, has a big knock on the head. He's kind of in the Nick Nolte bargain bin of homeless actors. <laughs> you know? I, mean, I don't know. Oh, they need to have like an Expendables <laughs> like <Nick> Nolte, <laughs> the drunks. Right, yeah. We're gonna close this yeah. convenience store. <laughs> What's Get me some your ass? Acid on coke. <laughs> Old Nick Nolte. The Nick Nolte of Bargain Man. <laughs> that needs to be <laughs> classic. Alan the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Alan's daddy. <laughs> There's your goddamn dinner. <laughs> he was great in Tropic Thunder. I was like, where's the Hulk? Oh, man. Let me do some more Coke. The Nick. <laughs> that was the last big movie he did that was great. What? Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. You got hands. <laughs> oh, that movie. Classic line yes. from that is, uh, is uh, yeah, Mother Nature just pissed her pantsuit. <laughs> That's, I don't know if you can make that movie now. Just what with what they did, especially with Robert Downey. Right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's a movie that I just watched last night that they could totally not get away with anymore. Don't mess with the Zohan. Oh, yeah. I like that movie, actually. I watched it. It's so horribly oh, bad. it is, it is. But it's, yeah, it's, yeah. there's so many little innuendos and puns and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, About like kick the a cat certain around, area the in the geographic uh, world yeah. that there's just, no way they could get away with it now. I just liked it was over, the, how over the top it was. It was just, it was stupid. But I liked it, was, it way better than like Little Nicky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really, it was watchable. You know, it I more, thought it was good. It seemed like uh, original yeah. Uh, yeah, material versus the the Sandler. But Michael know, Buffer in that movie, films, films. Right, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Michael Buffer in that movie when he talks about his his beautiful wife, she has the perfect ass to tits ratio. <laughs> and then when something happens to her, no, the ratio. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. Chris oh Rock's, my God. Chris Rock's oh, character yeah. was good. The taxi cab yep. driver. They're all dead. Yeah. Like, Isn't the American dream great? Oh, they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that Zohan and the uh, Hotel Transylvania, I think those have been Sandler's recent, like, you know, great works. Yeah, and then he they're went over to so Netflix formulaic. and just tanked it. Yeah, I saw I saw a couple of those movies. They, they're not terrible. I, I I refuse to see that Kevin James security guard, whatever oh, the hell it is. Paul Blart. Not, no, actually, uh, it's... Um, some other movie. How does, a different one? It's just another it's another movie he does. He's a fat dude who uh, wears uh, a badge and I don't know. He's some kind of like High assassin. Jinx ensue. Yeah, assassin is actually in the title. So I'm like, nope, yeah. skipping that. No, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of, of Kevin James, I, I was uh, wa- reading an article and I, I've started to, uh, to save uh, some of the, um, the comments below. Mm-hmm. And one of them was about, it was a Kevin James article or something like that. And one of the comments was, Kevin James, a fat, poopy guy who still manages to have a hot life. Wow. <laughs> fat, poopy guy. The word, the, the Something tells word. me that's not a child who was right. yeah. coming in there. <laughs> God. Here's a childish word of poopy. <laughs> I had to stifle my laughter. Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> well, hey, Netflix paid him a lot of money, so yeah, they did. I think he's yeah, good for him. Yeah, good for him. He needs. You know, he's got the formulaic thing down. I mean, he's still making money, and he he basically at uh, what was that King of Queens two point show? Oh yeah, where they killed off his wife and then brought back his old wife from the King of Queens. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> That's just like, well, not to give it away for everyone who cares, but Paul Blart 2, you know? Yeah. If you like the first one and a lot of the characters, they're either dead or they left in the first five minutes of the sequel. So, so wait, his his daughter left? No, but... His daughter his, stayed. His new wife left, and his mom got killed by a garbage truck. Okay. 
And that's just the beginning of the movie. This is it supposed sounds to be hilarious. Isn't it? Isn't it funny? <laughs> Because he goes yeah. to like a Vegas convention, yeah. Like I said, yeah, a fat poopy guy <laughs> still manages to have a hot wife. <laughs> Poor Paul Blart. <laughs> They're gonna do the hangover treatment. They're gonna make a three to make up for the two. <laughs> They're gonna bring it back to the mall. I found another one on Chatting Tatum. Uh, you know, he just recently broke up, or which is sad. I mean, I yeah, I don't. You know, if things are tough, I I feel bad for their kid and and all that stuff. But these comments on the internet are ro- they're just hilarious, but they're also roasting. Somebody put, "What is a Channing Tatum?" <laughs> somebody replied with, "A guy whose ears are too low on his skull." <laughs> wow! I, I, these are just they're hilarious. Followed by, "Will Gambit ever happen?" Oh, I, I hope it does. I don't know. I man, really that's do. Been development hell for how long? Since they did uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. Yeah, that was probably 2014. Well, now that he's he's no longer married, that's going to free up some of his time. So maybe yeah, I don't know. Maybe that, well, that might happen. have been the problem. You know, he had, he was taking a lot of time on other things. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> never a good mix. Yeah, that's tough. I uh, I, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, yeah, poor know, guy. He'll yeah. be fine though. I'm sure he's already got someone a replacement. No, I I honestly think that he's a pretty pretty good family man. Yeah. I just think that, you know, what happened was It's crappy. bummer though. It's Hollywood, man. It's like, you know, I think uh, for the Kurt Russells and the Goldie Hans are doing it right. They just don't get married. Yeah, for for them it like, seems nope. to work. I think once you put a label on Hollywood people, it's uh well, it's kind of a lot of open relationships too. <laughs> Will and Jada. Uh <laughs> <laughs> is that confirmed though i don't know i don't know it's all a mystery and you know what if it works for them it works for them yeah <laughs> will comes home <laughs> <laughs> margot robbie <laughs> <laughs> no i doubt that anything happened with that but eh, maybe I don't, know. I, don't know. I don't know i don't know i don't know for sure so yeah that's about all i have guys uh you got anything else you want to add uh-uh nope Else. I will say this though. I watched uh, the Power Rangers movie after holding out for a long time because I thought oh, it's going to be cheesy. Go see it. It's on. Um, it's on Amazon Prime and HBO now. Uh, oh, nice. I was pleasantly surprised, and I did not have high hopes for it. I thought it was going to be real cheesy. They were going to bring back some of the actors from the original series as their mom and dad. They didn't. No. Um, Zordon, I thought, was really well done. I like the fact that they actually had a backstory mm-hmm. yeah, to kind of lead into the fact that, okay, this is why the Power Rangers are like it is. Because in the in the TV series, you know, growing up as a kid, you didn't necessarily need that. But now as an adult, you kind of want to figure out, well, why did this happen and such? And, um, well, they had yeah. the freedom to do that because, right. like, that show is so weird. That original Power Rangers show basically took footage like every time they were in the ranger outfit Mm -hmm. like out in the open fighting things and stuff that's a whole other other show in like japan and they just took that footage brought it to america to a different story yeah yeah uh, when they leave those characters they put the teenagers in you know they just filler and the whole zordon thing and rita like that's all basically there's really no um mythology there so that's why the movie could take that that, that step, liberty and no one's gonna be like oh this is ridiculous you know and oh, matter of fact cool. i think yeah. um when they first came out uh in the early 90s that show had been on since the 70s mm. so that's why well, you have like good quality filming yeah. and then all of a sudden you get Blurry this older and, uh, filming yeah, that yeah. doesn't seem to fit the picture the grainy mm-hmm. you know pruder film like stuff yeah you know? yeah where you know the, the zord when he takes a step back, the whole box on his foot shakes and stuff yeah. because it was an actual guy in a suit. Mm-hmm. Figure it out, but no, I I thought it was really well done. Um, the only sad thing is that it didn't didn't capture enough. I mm-hmm. think uh, box office success to bring on a uh, warrant another one. But I think the actors that were in it were really good. Um, it's a good movie on its own. And, so and that's uh, all you get. That's all Tommy you get, the you know? or mm-hmm. not Tommy, but the Red Ranger, the guy who was in that. Uh, is also in Stranger Things is the guy who owns that Camaro who's yes you yes. know a real dick to everybody so yeah and um, he's uh well he's actually uh, supposedly tried to get on uh, Nightwing to be Nightwing oh cool I, I think it'd be great casting yeah but who knows I, uh, what the hell they're gonna do with that but 
That's a whole other show. <laughs> but you know, if you got your rage, yeah, if you've real. got nothing going on and you're cleaning house or something like that, and you're right next to your TV while you're doing it, pop it on. It's it's a good flick. Yeah, like and for people like you know, I know Steve, you didn't like the originals at all. I just was, I never watched them. Yeah, you know? I mean, I yeah. was out of that age range, and you know, but this it just, is it like, just looked hokey to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. there is a there is a extremely hokey part where they bring in the old soundtrack. While yes, I agree. At the end, yeah. yeah that, oh my god, that like, wasn't that needed. Work, but I think that was added just to get some of the fan base to go. Well, well, Joey know. appreciated it because he's that fan base. But yeah, if you don't even have to know about the Power Rangers. Honestly, you can just go into a blind. It educates you on the whole history, and it's new history. So yeah, yeah, it's not even like oh, I gotta go back to the other shows to understand. Yeah, nothing this. to reference or anything yeah. like that. No, it's 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 a great film. It really um, pushes the boundaries. I think with uh, these characters in high school, you know, their backgrounds and. Who they are is characters. Uh, it's very different from the original show, and yeah, it's. Um, I think it's a game changer. You know, it's one of those Power Rangers things. Two is in development. Oh, good, good, okay. And I was twenty four when the first the TV series came out, so I was beyond the. Uh, That's all right. I was I was out of the age. Group. I was already worried about my bills. Yeah, and friends. He, <laughs> and yeah, he didn't want yeah. his friends like well, that. Rachel, Oof. beautiful. <laughs> Chandler was that ninety three? I don't know. I don't know when that was either. Ninety four, I think. No, Friends came out ninety five or so. Night Court. <laughs> is Night Court still on? I don't know. No, Night Court ended ninety one. And YPD Blue. Let's go with that. Seinfeld yeah. for Stephen. Seinfeld oh, there you go. was just yeah. starting. Yeah. Yep. It was. Yeah. Boy, the first season of Seinfeld was horrible. Most first seasons are pretty. Yeah, bad. it took them a while to get their. How through. they were able to stay on with that first season. And well, make it changed, into the show that it was changed the, was amazing. Yeah, they just started from scratch. But yeah, a lot of pilot episodes are really rough starts. Usually, you know, they they fix a lot of things. And yeah, yeah. So. Any word on when? I know that we just talked about Star Trek, and I'm I'm going to stop talking after this. Any word on when the Orville's coming back? It'll be probably September, I Fall. imagine. Yeah, with a new season of everything. else. Very excited yeah. about okay. that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, and you know. I, we still have to get together to do our last uh, trek for right. season one of, um, of Discovery. But, yeah, I did want to talk about the Orville. And um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Like, it, a lot of uh, fans who don't like the Discovery show, the you know, the darkness and mm-hmm. stuff, they really like the Orville and they're embracing it, yeah. which is great. But also, it's like, you know, I think you should embrace the Star Trek, too, because that's actually Star Trek. Right. And, you know, it's like, this is separate, but it's okay to like both of them. Yeah. But, there's nothing saying that you can't do that. I don't think you should turn your back on Star Trek just because, you know, it's a little different. But they're adjusting, yeah. too. And Not I was to concerned was about terrible. Discovery, you know, yeah, because of how yeah. dark it was. But, I mean, it ended up being a very smart series. And, you know, it was um, it far surpassed my expectations. And, you know, I loved it. And the Orville's just brilliant. And Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of room for both. The Orville's like a good throwback, you know. It oh, really man. reminds you a lot of the next generation, except it's got, like, humor. Yeah. You know, it's not so reserved, yeah. uh, you know. It's like Picard. Sci-fi, and... humor, drama. I mean, yeah. they nail the whole thing, you know. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That was good. I was really, uh, I was anxious for that show to, to premiere. It just looks so damn good, you know, and yeah. John Favreau was involved with it. And I just remember at the time, I don't know if it ever got better critically, but at the, at the beginning, oh, they, they hated it. Yeah. And I was like. Is it that bad? And I watched the first episode, and I, I was like, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, you know. And I thought it was all comedy. Yeah, but really, it's not. It mm. was. It's like a dramedy, right? Which is weird. Yeah, because it's like it's got elements of both, and yeah. you know, it's got a ton of serious moments, you mm. know, and it's pretty cool. I can't wait to rewatch it because you know, right now, if you go on the Fox app, you can only watch the last three episodes. The Orville. Yeah, I want to watch that pilot again. Hulu's on there. It's all. I don't have Hulu, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that how okay. you caught it? Yeah. yeah. That's how I caught it as well. Yeah. Just binge watched it. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. 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 It was, uh, it was really good. So looking forward to that. Of course, Discovery will be back in the fall. Yeah. Before you know it, it'll be fall again. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It will still have snow. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. here in Iowa. Yeah. Represent. But yeah, we got Wizard Con coming up in a couple months. So that'd be exciting. Yep. We're going to apply for our press pass and see who's going to take the stage. More and, uh, awesome Steve interviews. Kidding, I don't know. Oh, uh, hopefully we'll see who's there. I don't know. Yeah, well, Jason you got, you got, Momoa. Yeah, you got that's right. Yahura from Star Trek. Michelle Nichols. Uh, see who I can uh, harass. <laughs> <laughs> Some good comic interviews last year. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. Fun. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to replay those for sure. We'll be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. I'm Josh. I'm Mitch. Steve. Take care. Bye.